to make cold brew, I'm going to take a cold brew pitcher that I bought from Target. And it also comes with these. So you can, after it sets, I usually let it sit for overnight or a little longer. I know you can leave it usually from 12 to 24 hours is the cutoff. Now, I got this idea for the cold brew vanilla iced coffee from when I worked at Starbucks. So, I'm sort of copying, but I'm making it a little bit different, a little bit healthier in a way. Mm -hmm. The coffee I like to use is, right now, I, I like using Wegmans Organic Vanilla Coffee, but I haven't been there in a while because it's about 40 minutes away. So right now I'm using Green Mountain Breakfast Blend Light Roast. I like the light roast because they, as they taught us at Starbucks, um, has the high, higher caffeine. Okay, so for the coffee part, I'm going to take usually measure it out. I would say probably a quarter to a cup of grounds. I use I usually just fill up the close to the bottom. This is what I usually use. Probably a quarter cup to a third of a cup of ground is what I use. You can see that it just covers. It's probably an inch or two away from the top of this bottom part here. Now I'm going to take it and I'll fill it up about right here. Um, probably a third of a gallon of water I put in there. And I usually use spring water. And they told us to go slowly. I know you can Mix it. Actually, it works pretty good. Maybe add a little bit more. Just on the rinds, just add a little bit more over the rinds that didn't get wet. Yeah, that looks good. This is what it's going to look like. Okay. This is how I make it all the time. So, yeah, I used about a third of a gallon, maybe a little over. Okay, I'm just going to take this. Now, I'm going to take it and put it into the lid over and leave it overnight. But, after that, I will take one of these and then you press it out, press it all the way down, once you put the lid on, and then you just pour it, I would say pour it in another container, and then empty your grounds, so and then you just put it back in here and leave it, and just use it when you need to. Okay, but I'm going to go ahead and put that in the refrigerator. Vanilla cream. Now, when I was at Starbucks, I believe the recipe was you, um, in the container you add whipping cream. I believe it was heavy whipping cream or half and half. It was one or the other. Can't quite remember, but it was one or the other. And then you added the vanilla syrup. I think it, I'm thinking it was around four to six pumps of it. I'm not I'm not sure. But I don't have vanilla syrup. So I use vanilla extract and I use maple syrup. You can probably use honey if you want. I like the maple syrup but I like the flavor to it. Okay now this cream I used earlier when I made scones. I have just plain whipping cream. I don't have um, half and half or heavy heavy whipped cream. So, since I used some out of it, I used six tablespoons. I got room in here. 
instead of getting another dish, usually I use a dish like a uh, container like this, and I fill up part of it with the cream or the milk, whatever I use. Because you can use whole milk, you can use um, heavy cream, just regular whipping cream or half and half, whatever you got. Probably skim milk, whatever milk you want. And I usually fill it up some, add as much a sweetener as I want and as much vanilla as you want. And then I just shake it and leave this in the refrigerator. And then when I get my cold brew, I just pour this over it. So I don't have to sweeten anything else. And if you don't like sweetener, you can leave it. You can do it whatever, whatever way you want. Okay, since this is instead of getting another dish dirty, I'm just going to take this. I'm going to add uh, a capful of the vanilla syrup. Probably a teaspoon or two. It depends on how much you want of vanilla extract. You can probably use vanilla bean if you use that too. And I'm not quite sure how much to tell you with the maple syrup, but I would say I would say probably two tablespoons or three tablespoons. Depends on how sweet you want it. I would say I used about two tablespoons in here. And then just shake, 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 shake. Like they taught me. There we go. And then you just, you already got your sweetener. When you want your coffee and stay going through a lot of trouble, just pour this on top of your coffee, stir it. You got a cold brew ice, ice coffee. Hope you, hopefully this helps you out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.